Thank you. <laughs> Kayla, K A E L A, Harmon, H A R M O N. Can you tell me a little bit about what this blue box is? <laughs> for the next three days, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, right. So for the next three days, these blue boxes will be placed at several locations throughout the Midlands in an effort to help our um, unified efforts raise supplies for our USO. For those people who aren't familiar with the USO, it stands for um, United Service Organizations, and we have a USO located in our airport here in uh, Columbia. It's the Columbia Metropolitan Airport's USO. And what we've done is we've really come together to create a supply drive for the USO. Uh, usually they see up to 7,000 recruits, troops come into the USO a month. Um, in the month of June, they'll get what they call the summer surge, and they'll get up to 9,000 troops. And um, anybody who's not been to the USO, it's a great resource for our troops. They go in, they have food, they have water, they have snacks, they have internet, they have phone, they have games, anything that they need to kind of make them a little bit comfortable while they're in that um, sort of intermediate place. And um, they run out of stuff. I mean, they're a nonprofit organization, and they need these things to or provide for our troops. So. Um, we wanted to partner with WLTX, First Citizens Bank, we've got the Marriott on Assembly Street, and of course the airport, and we um, really just wanted to put together a team effort to help the USO help our troops. How long have you been doing this, and personally, this team, and what does it mean to you? I have only been at the airport since February, and honestly, prior to my coming to the airport, I did not have a familiarity with the USO. I'm not. Um, from a military family. And so it was really interesting to me to learn that this resource was here. And uh, we have such a great working relationship between the airport and the USO. And so when we were having these conversations and they were just saying, you know, we're so busy and, and the month of June is really getting crazy, it, it occurred to me that we needed to do something to try to support them. And just a few phone calls, just, you know, getting people together, everybody was on board and it's been great. So it means a lot to me to be able to help them do something for people who do something that's so incredible for our country. What are your, and you can also find the organization's goals uh, for the community involvement like after all this is said and done? Our primary goal is to raise awareness. I mean, obviously, during the month of June, they get up to 9,000 troops, and, and that is a lot. But like I said, they get um, as many as 7,000 troops a month throughout the rest of the year. And we want people to know that they're there all year. And if you're looking for a cause that you want to get behind, something you, that you want to volunteer at, something you want to donate to, they are always there. And they're a resource for our military. I mean, they do so much for our country. And, and in anything that we can do to give back, we want to be a part of. And so really, it's just raising awareness of the fact that the USO is right there in our airport. And we're actually the only airport in the state that has the USO, the USO on site. And so, you know, when you stop by our airport, go in and visit. Say hello to the troops. Say hello to the volunteers. And, and be a volunteer and just be a part of this community that we're creating. Ms. Joy, I'm visiting them. If, they, if one would just want to get involved with the USO in general, how would they go about finding out? Um, well, you can find out all the information. You can find out information on their website, which I believe is www.uso.org. And uh, you can always find information on our website, which is columbiaairport.com. So that, so, yes, or? yes, right yep, something around there. And um, the airport, the airport's USO is celebrating their two-year anniversary this month. A lot of history. A lot of history there. It, a lot of history there. And, um, you know, it's something that has been so, I think, integral to troops for a very long time. It just makes sense that we have it in our airport. But like you said, you talk about the history there. Um, the organization was started to try to be a unified resource for all of those organizations that were doing different things to support the troops, to support soldiers who were going off to these various wars. And um, again, it's just, it's really a great organization to know about and to be a part of and to support. No, I can't think of anything. Okay.